What's up guys, I'm Rhett. Welcome back to Lawn Insider. Well, if you watched my video last week, you saw that I was faced with a choice. My yard was scalping every time I mowed, so I was either gonna have to raise my height of cut for the rest of the season, or put a reset scalp on the lawn. And being the hard-headed individual that I am, I went with the height of cut reset. I just decided that I would rather take it down now instead of having to deal with more grass later. So I went ahead and bit the bullet and scalped it down to 0.35 inches. Some of y'all might have seen the mask around my neck and wondered why I was wearing that. And it's just because when you scalp, a lot of grass clippings and dust get in the air and those dust particles and grass clippings can get in your nose and in your mouth. And it's just none of that's good for you. None of that's good to get in your lungs. So I just pulled out the old mask and wore it for the scalp. Before we get too much further into the video, I wanted to remind y'all that you still have a few days left where you can use the promo code OLYMPICS, all caps, and get free shipping on any of the Lawn Insider merch. So go check out the link below and get yourself a cool t-shirt. And here's what we're working with in the backyard. You can see that it was a pretty hard scalp back here. So this is what we're gonna work to recover the next few weeks. So if you did see last week's video, you do know that this was a calculated decision. I needed to do this fairly quickly because the days are getting shorter and it's not going to stay warm forever. So I had a pretty small window where I could still do this and the grass would still recover. So I went ahead and knocked it out this weekend. I do want to point out that if your lawn is really stressed right now and it's really dry and you haven't had a good rain in a long time, it's probably not a great time to scalp. But if your yard is still in pretty good condition and you're in Texas, specifically Central Texas with the good heat that we've been getting lately, your Bermuda is going to recover if you're able to do this in the next week or so. And since I already scalped, I went ahead and pulled out the core aerator and I'm going to core aerate as well. First, I'm gonna go over there to the sprinkler control and I'm gonna run the irrigation system for one cycle just to get the ground good and wet so we can pull some good plugs with the aerator. All right, the sprinklers finally finished their cycle, so the ground should be nice and soft for the aerator. We should be able to pull some good plugs. I put these flags out right there, and I put them out wherever there was a sprinkler head in the lawn just so I would avoid hitting those sprinkler heads. But we're running out of daylight here, so I'm gonna go get behind the aerator and pull some plugs. All right, so I just got back from aerating and obviously it got dark on me, so I didn't get any really good shots of what it looked like afterwards, but as soon as I can get out back in the lawn with some daylight, I will make sure and get some shots so I can show y'all in the video. What's up y'all, it's Wednesday night, so we are a few days after the aeration. It's been really busy, but I was able to get out into the lawn tonight and uh, I wanted to show y'all, because I haven't really done anything to the lawn since this weekend, so I wanted to show y'all what the end result was of the scalp and aeration. All right, so first of all, you can see that the lawn has definitely seen better days, but hopefully you can see all the plugs all over the lawn. And just like last time when I did it on my leveling video, pretty much all the plugs are just 100% sand. So I'm gonna get a closer look for you guys just so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so hopefully y'all can see this pretty well. We are getting a little bit darker out here, but all my plugs, okay, if you just kinda run your hand through the grass here, they just disintegrate because they're sand. So let me see if I can kinda find one to pick up. Let's get this one right here. All right, and you can see even when you pick it up, it just disintegrates and all that's left is a little bit of thatch that sits right at the, uh, the top of that soil layer. 
So what I'm going to do to try to get rid of these plugs so I can get a mow on this either tonight or you know maybe in the next couple of days because I don't want to let it get too long again. So what I'm going to do is run my drag that I used in my leveling video over the entire lawn and I'm hoping that that will break up a lot of these plugs. So let me show you all the drag that I'm talking about. So here's the drag that I'm going to use and I've already gone over the side yard and it did a really good job of breaking up those sandy plugs and pushing them back into the canopy. So this is a five foot by three foot drag and I added this PVC pipe handle just so it'd be easier to, to drag. That did not come with the drag when I got it off of Amazon. So I just went to Lowe's and cut it and put it on there so it would be easier to maneuver. But this thing works really well and I've used it in all of my leveling projects so far. And it also has some other random uses like breaking apart these sandy plugs after I aerate. So this thing for me has been really worth the money. If you're interested in something like that, I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. <music>
look like after the second mow post scalp we're six days out from the scalp and the aerating last weekend and i will continue to give y'all updates on this in my weekly videos i think i'm going to go ahead and wrap it up right here y'all i hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you're liking the content and you want to continue to see more of it especially more of the updates after this scalp and aeration go ahead and hit that red subscribe button below and if you have any questions comments concerns leave those in the comment section below i'll see y'all again next week lawn insider out